guys, so today I'm going to be doing a video on my favourite foundations. High-end and drugstore, both of them are going to be doing both at the same time. I've got kind of an equal amount of both and um, I hope you enjoyed the video. So I'm going to start with Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation, which is just this one here. It just looks like this. It's in a really nice glass bottle and it actually doesn't come with this pump. This pump is from MAC Cosmetics, um, which you can just buy from their shop. It's around, I think, about the 7 to £10 mark. You can buy it and you can just stick it in um, a foundation that it fits in and it's great because this foundation actually doesn't come with a pump, it just comes with like a, a top where you just have to pour it on, which isn't great, so um, a pump is definitely a necessity for me. Um, this is £22 and you can get it from kind of any kind of high-end store and online anywhere, um, kind of Debenhams, anywhere like that. Um, that has an Estee Lauder counter. I really, really, really love this foundation. I've got it on today. I forgot how amazing it was because in the summer it's too heavy. So I didn't wear it in the summer. And then um, after the summer now, um, I've kind of realised how amazing it is again because I've started using it and it's just fantastic. And um, I really, really do recommend it. it it's on the high end side but not as expensive as some of the other foundations I'm going to show you so I would really recommend going buying this if you'd like a kind of it is a full coverage foundation but it, it doesn't feel that on your face I don't think you can feel it it doesn't oxidize it stays on the entire day doesn't move it looks exactly the same as it does right now in the morning to when it does at night and it is fantastic so, so yeah I'd really recommend this for any of you with acne scarring, acne, dry or oily skin I have got quite a few dry patches around here and on the side of my eye and it hasn't like exaggerated them or anything like that um, and also if you have oily skin, when I used to have oily skin this is fantastic as well so just all around a fa an absolutely fantastic foundation and definitely my favourite the next thing I want to talk about is Revlon Colour Stay Foundation and this is £12.99 from Boots, Superdrick, anywhere like that. Again you can order it online but um, yeah. This is the one for normal to dry skin because my skin has completely changed and now is more dry than it is oily. So I've, I've got the um, normal dry formula but I have had the oily combination formula as well and that one is also absolutely fantastic. It looks like this in a nice glass, glass bottle and it has a lid which just you pour the product out which isn't very good it annoys me because I always pour too much out and then you waste product so um, that's not fantastic but it is really good it's got an SPF of 15 in it so you may want to like, kind of like be wary when you're taking flash photographs um, because you know it can take a flashback on your skin um, again this is heavy coverage but it is light on your skin it's a really really lovely foundation it's kind of the drugstore dupe of Estee Lauder Double Wear and um, the only thing that I don't really like is when you get further on in the day I'd say for me at the end of school so that's about you know four o'clock-ish by the time I get home um, from having it on at six in the morning till four it does start to kind of just break up a little bit on your face whereas the Estee Lauder Double Wear is just completely still there just exactly as it was in the morning so it's not as great with the staying power but it's still a really good foundation it does look really nice on the skin you can shear it out by using the right kind of tools as well as with every foundation really and um, yeah I would recommend this for people that are looking for a drugstore foundation um, but again it is on the little bit of a higher side of the drugstore market the next foundation I want to talk about is the Shiseido Sun Protection Liquid Foundation. This has got an SPF of 30 in it, so you've got to be really careful when taking flash photography with this foundation. However, this is perfect for the summer. Um, it's completely water resistant, like literally completely water resistant. It's called, it says very water resistant. Um, it comes in a packaging like this which basically just has a little nib it's very kind of looks like a sun cream bottle gone bright blue with the orange it's very kind of you know let's go in the summer so it is more of a summertime foundation however I wear it in the winter it's not really it doesn't really bother me that much and that's probably because I brought this foundation in a little bit of a lighter colour and this is in the colour SP40 I'll leave all the colours that I, ha I am in the other foundations down below um, this is in the colour SP40 and for me that's a little bit too light for the summer it's fine now when my skin's lighter but in the summertime there's no way I can wear this because it is probably one of the lightest foundations I have Anyway, into the foundation, this is £26, so probably one of the most expensive um, foundations that I'm going to talk about, barring one more. And the packaging is really nice, as I said, but again, looks like a bit of a sun cream bottle, but if you're not bothered about that, then 
you know. You get 13 products in here, like a normal one, even though it does look pretty small. Um, the foundation is quite a liquid foundation, whereas the other two that I've mentioned are quite thick when you pour them out. This one's quite liquidy, just like the Chanel Vaseline Aqua foundation. Um, this is pretty similar to that, but it just stays on longer than the Chanel, and I prefer that. Um, it isn't probably one I use every single day, it's not one that I go back to, but I do like it. I think it's nice, it's a different texture to some of the ones that I normally use. Again, it's a thinner liquid, it stays on for a long amount of time, and it doesn't look as amazing as the other two, but it just it stays on for ages and it just feels so, so light, it just feels like you've got nothing on. So again, it's exactly the same, in my opinion, as the Chanel Vitalume Aqua Foundation, but it is just so much more long-lasting than that one. So yeah, I would recommend this. Again, if you're looking for a lighter coverage that is going to stay on, this is really fantastic. So yeah, thumbs up. The next one is one that you've all heard me talk about, and it's the Gosh Exceptional Wear Foundation. And it just looks like this in this kind of, you know, tubey kind of packaging. Um, it looks like a very drugstore foundation in this kind of tube, and you just squeeze it out. It's not particularly great packaging, but you know, it doesn't really matter. Um, the two colours I have in this, which are sand and gold, and as most of you know, say in like every video that I mention it in, um, I actually am too dark, too light for this now, so I haven't been using it for the past you know month or so. But it is a great foundation, as it says, exceptional wear. It stays on for ages. It looks really natural on the skin, and it's seven ninety nine, so it's fantastic. The only downside with this is you can only get it from Superdrug. So if you haven't got a Superdrug near you, or you live in a different country, it's going to be really really hard for you to get hold of this. Um, but yeah, I really, really love it, and I just think for a drugstore option, no Dream Up Mousse, none of that, this is the best, it is really, really great, and yeah, big thumbs up. And the last one I want to talk about is the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus Foundation. Now this is extremely expensive at £28.95, and around that price anyway, um, because this is kind of a US make make it forever as a US make and that's why we can't really get it over here. I got this from iMats um, in London when I went last year or this year you know what I mean. Um, it's actually in June next year so any of you that are going um, I will be there so yeah. Um, anyway I got this from iMats last year and it was much less expensive than what it is if you buy it online um, but I can't really remember how much it was. This foundation is much more for an oily skin type, so I don't necessarily use it right now when I'm more dry. In the summer I use this quite a lot because it is for an oilier skin type, and as it is matte velvet plus, it stays on for ages. It doesn't give you a dewy look at all on your skin. I'd say the Estee Lauder Double Wear, even though people say that it doesn't, I'd say that it really does give you that dewy kind of nice look. Whereas as you can see like, I've got a bit of dewiness here on my face. Whereas this one just completely is just a matte foundation. So if you're looking for something like that, I'd really recommend this. However, as I said, it is hard to get a hold of in the UK. So, yeah, that's a bit of a downside. Now, I just want to talk about two um, things that I like to apply fa the foundations with. My favourite is, at the moment, is the Beauty Blender. Now, I really like this at the moment because when I have dry patches on my skin, I don't like to use a buffing brush like this as much. I prefer to use a sponge where I can just literally roll it over my skin and pat it in. And it will just make the whole foundation just look nice and flawless and it doesn't stick to the dry patches which is really great and I really like the way it looks um, it just makes it look really flawless and I really recommend it it's £12 and you can also get this from iMax as well so yeah and the next thing is the Sephora um, buffing well, mineral powder buffing brush I think it is or mineral powder brush something like that I got this while I was in Italy so unfortunately again you can't get it in the UK um, but I do really like this brush, it's really nice and dense, it's like the Sigma F80 as far as I know. This is $26, um, so I wouldn't know what it is in pounds really. Um, but one alternative to that is the Real Techniques Buffing Brush. The only disadvantage to that is you have to buy in a collection, which is a core collection, and for four of the brushes it's £20.99, £20, £20 which you can get from Boots, Amazon, all of that. So again, I really like this brush, but when you're trying to get like on dry patches it does kind of when it goes over the dry patches it makes them stand out a bit more that's why I prefer the beauty brander at the moment so I am completely out of breath now and my back's hurting because sitting here is really really hard to kind of like just sit upright all the time because you've got nothing to lean on um but yeah I hope you all enjoyed this video I just want to mention sorry for always having my hair up in recent videos it's because I normally film before I'm going to work on a Saturday morning and on a Saturday morning I have to have my hair up for work so 
I film it before and I'm not particularly going to like do my hair all nice and then stick it up in a bun. So yeah, sorry for always having my hair up, I'll try and make the next video with my hair down. Um, let me know if you'd like, I would like to do some more getting ready videos, if you'd like some of those let me know down below. Because um, I really like to do those and I don't know if anyone's really interested. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video guys, please subscribe if you liked it and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye guys. Thank <laughs> you.